So for my proverb fable speech, I chose the famous fable by Aesop, the cat, the rooster, and the mouse. And the story starts off with a young mouse who's lived his whole life in a mouse hole. And one day he begs his mother to let him see the outside world just for once in his life for at least 10 minutes. The mother agrees to let him go outside the hole and explore the outside world and see what it's like. But after 10 minutes, he comes back from the mouse hole as fast as he could, all out of breath. And very frightened and the mother asked him what had happened and he explains to his mom that he saw these strange creatures out there and the first creature he saw was a beautiful gorgeous animal with soft striped fur yellow eyes a calm and meek face and when the creature saw him she waved her long tail as if it was glad to see him and it was excited and then the next uh, creature he saw had a red head long claws that tore up the ground and pecked his mouth on the ground repeatedly and then he finally opened his mouth and let out a horrible shriek of cockle doodle doo and after that the mouse ran away as fast as he could as far as away as he could and then the mother explains to him that the pretty creature he saw was a mouse eating cat that eats mice for dinner and that waving his t her tail was possibly excitement that oh there's my dinner I get to eat now I see a young mouse that I can eat and then the other horrifying ugly creature he saw was nothing but a ro rooster who eats seeds and grains and she explains to him that next time you go out into the world and explore, you got to be more careful and cautious of people and to never judge them by their looks. And to be more cautious, I mean, be cautious of what's on the inside, not on the outside. And I found this story on aesopstories.blogspot and the basically it explained the moral of the story is appearance can be deceiving um, don't judge one's appearance without even knowing them and so like next time the mouse should be careful next time he goes out and you know making ill judgments and assumptions is wrong you should never judge someone just by their outward appearance you know, someone with tattoos and piercings and motorcycle gear, they could be the most amazing person ever. I mean, there's a motorcycle gang that are covered with tattoos and they protect children of abuse. They go to court hearings to protect the child from the abuser and they're covered with tattoos and piercings and they're there just to protect the child. They're there for the good. And you know, people with tattoos and piercings they could be a firefighter a doctor saving your life a surgeon a nurse i'm in the health field and i've met many doctors nurses and cenas who are covered with tattoos and piercings and they're just the sweetest most kindest person ever i've ever met and you know a sweet old lady could be just an awful person she could be abusive and a serial killer or a bank robber Charles Dahmer for example he had that baby face charm that everyone assumed that he was a sweet and nice looking person but in reality he was a monster he murdered many people and he was very just not right and um fables of Aesop.com basically also explained the same thing that you know don't judge someone by their appearance and you know this fable also intertwines with the famous saying never judge a book by its cover and this saying is very recent from a 1944 a 1944 um, story in the African American Journal that I found on gingersoftware.net 
that explains the racism and stereotypes towards African Americans that people judge them based on the way they look and the stereotypes that are brought with them. So basically, be cautious of others, but never be afraid to talk to someone and get to know them because someone who looks mean and scary, as you suppose, by the way they look, they could just be a very friendly and chill person. Um, and in a way, we are naturally drawn to aesthetics and beauty. Um, we assume something that looks naturally beautiful is something good, but could be something horribly evil. You know, everybody has their own unique appearance and personality, and they have preferences towards, you know, how they want to express themselves. And people are just afraid of being judged and criticized all the time, and we have to stop doing that. We try to hide our true selves and expressions to fit in and conform within the norms of society because we feel so judged and bashed for being our own selves and how we want to look and appear. You know, many people are affected with tattoos. You know, I met a woman who is a nurse and she has a full tattoo sleeve of Winnie the Pooh characters. You know, it's cute and odd, but she's been reject she told me she was rejected for many jobs because people found her tattoos intimidating and that she could be related to a gang or just that she's not a good person but they're Winnie the Pooh characters and she was a very sweet and nice person when I was speaking to her and also teenagers are affected by this as well um, they're very feeble they're feeble minded and they're very easily manipulated by the judgment of others they're afraid of being judged and rejected by their peers um, there's peer pressure on the way to look and act you know people are pressured into being mean to other people just to fit in they're pressured to lose weight bulimia um, get like hair extensions and buy all this makeup just so they could fit in but pe they just don't realize that their personality is what they need to show to everybody in order to fit in and also another thing that ties into this is racism and stereotypes you know when someone who's racist or just stereotypical they see a black man walking down the street and just think oh he's probably a thug he's probably a drug addict he is you know probably a bank robber or something and we all fit stereotypes into different races and cultures just by the way they look oh we assume this Asian guy is super smart and has no emotions doesn't care about other people but in reality he's struggling with his own identity but he's a very sweet and great person to talk to he's willing to help others and it also goes into bullying we bully people based on their appearances and their differences and this fable is also similar to the story of the ugly duckling ugly duckling and the children's book enemy pie True beauty is on the inside, not on the outside. Looks are terribly deceiving. We can't judge people on the way they look. And their status as well. Like, oh, you know, the British royals. We don't know how they truly are in real life. They're, we don't know their personalities. We just see them as these gorgeous people that are admired by many. But we don't know what they're truly like on the inside. So basically, the moral of this story, this fable, is that looks are deceiving and in the end, we judge poorly primarily on what's on the outside rather than someone's heart and soul because we have been so brainwashed into just judging others based on their aesthetics, based on what they look like. We're not focused on someone's personality. 
and that's something we need to change.